Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. You've actually been more you about this fiance, multimillionaire home, hidden things you never knew about her. Do you watch just for a very long time being you your body seem to be in a relationship with Latif Ade Dimeji? If I they confuse the media, and it was all over the news. Being you your body gets married to Latif Ade Dimeji. Being you your body and Latif Ade Dimeji are expecting their child together. But that was not all. They also did things together, bought cars together, opened businesses together, and of course confused us with their wedding pictures together. It was a shock when we saw it in the interview when Bingo Yubadi finally opened up about her relationship with the star you back. So Atifa did image and said that they were not in a relationship, rather she's engaged to another man. And in a words, I'm in a relationship because I'm not a child and I'm engaged. Latino Adi Dimeji is just a colleague I met almost immediately I joined the industry and we clicked. While we walked on my second movie, Entrapped, we got close and said, we started working together because when we work together, people love the outcome. I work with a lot of people, but with him, it is different. People want us to work together. Since I write my movies, I started featuring him in all my productions. And right now, he handles all my production and coordination. So he's in my circle and a close friend. So over the years now, those two have put us, fans and followers, in confusion over their relationship. And it is hard for many fans to believe otherwise that being put your body is with another man. As it comes to being put your body's luxurious home, a cars, and late in this year, 2021, Bimpo Yebade and a uh, closest friend in the movie industry, Latifa Didimeji, both acquired luxurious cars, multi-millionaire cars, some months ago, and they shared this news on their official social media platform. Apart from this acquisition, Bimpo has not announced any other thing yet, but then she shared some pictures on her official social media platform. And as it got to her house, house too, she never announced anything on social media platforms, but she also shares snippets of her house, especially during her birthday. On social media platform and for our networks in this year 2021 the site schoolings estimated being based network to be around seven hundred thousand dollars and city celeb estimated a network to be between two hundred thousand dollars and eight hundred thousand dollars they didn't have a specific figure but these are some of the lovely pictures of being everybody that she shares of her house and cars on social media platforms as regards the identity of her fiance, this Yuba actress, being with Yubadi, is not ready to reveal the identity of a man. But then she has specifically stated that a man is not in the movie industry and she wants to keep her things on the wrap. She believes that certain things should not be exposed to the media. If you want to know more about being with Yubadi, please stay with us a short and interesting biography of being with Yubadi. Many faces are springing up in Yuba's sector of Nollywood and they are adding spices and attitudes to the landscape in ways hardly seen before. One of such faces is being played by the special talent breaking new grants with the funny style and the concept of self-love. She was on her bread in Akure, New York State's capital. However, she's a native of Ijiro in Ikita State. She's the last child of the family. As a child, she wanted to become a newscaster and a mother. She attended a lot of schools. For her secondary school education, she attended Assis College and Omoliri School. Then she studied English at Ikiti State University, which was formerly University of Adwikiti. Before she went away to National Youth Service Schools came in Benin, in Edo State. On how she got into the movie industry. She got into the movie industry by attending an audition in Lagos State, which she had learned about on social media. The title of the first movie she acted in was Crossroads, which was produced by the veteran Yuba actor Yomi Fabi said that the experience on set the first time was quite challenging but then she believed she could do it and the director on that set was Abilary. She had heard so much about him that he was a strict person but then she listened to instructions and did whatever he said that she should do. By doing that she was able to perform excellently in that movie. Some of the other movies she acted in after then included Silence Cry, Telionel Kebaje, Romance, Wounded Heart, Broken Face, Unravel Their Share and The Fault among others. As regards her parents' reaction about her career choice, her parents have always supported her career. Even though initially her mother was a bit skeptical, she asked her if truly acting is what she wanted. Her mother wanted her to travel, study a professional course, go for a master's degree, but then Bingo maintained that this was exactly what she wanted to do and her mother gave her the backing. Bingo Yebadi, for directors and producers she would love to work with. In the past, she had mentioned that she would love to work with Biodo Stephens, which she got to work with just recently in the popular movie game. 
When it comes to actors, she mentioned Omotola Jalade, Kendi, Jennifer Bonaji, and Ramsey Noir. Apart from being an actress, she's also a movie producer who has produced some movies so far, at least four, including Dear Sister, Entrapped, 0707, A Day to Remember, and Adibi Bomoba. She also mentioned in an interview that producing is one of the highlights of her career, and she mentioned one of the challenges that she actually faced while shooting one of her movies. And she stated that one of them is getting good locations. This could be quite tasking. Especially if you're a perfectionist, getting the right cast also was an issue. It wasn't about the money to pay them, but getting them to spend enough time on sets because she doesn't like to rush her work. So this makes everything time consuming and stressful. But then over the years, she has learned the lesson of patience. Be patient, person will never go wrong. So don't rush your things. Other let them come to you. She's not saying you shouldn't work towards your goals, but don't give up easily because you have not got your desired results. You can achieve anything, get anywhere if you believe, pray, work hard, and you're patient. Mimo Yibade is one of the actresses with glowy black skin color in the movie industry. And she has mentioned this in an interview that this is her favorite part of her body, her skin color, as this makes her unique in the movie industry. She's dark and she's proud of it. As a matter of fact, she gets more movie roles because of this dark skin. In fact, even her first movie role is because of her dark skin and because she's a mother. She says it is a blessing to her. And in her words, actresses who bleach their skins are not confident and don't believe in themselves. They also probably don't have any other thing to offer because if they do, they wouldn't go down that route. So dark skin girls are doing well in the industry. And she has never been discriminated against because of her complexion. Also, apart from being an actress and a movie producer, she has been a model all her life, practically. Even before her acting career, she was a child model, but because of school, she didn't take it up full time. She started through pageantry back then in school, and she got to contest for some positions. She even contested for Miss Culture and won. She also had a manager. She was only part time. Until she completed her education, I recruited to Lagos State and joined an agency, Journey Models Africa. This was when she started getting professional jobs. Big Boy Badi, even up to today, is still a model. She's a commercial model, who model for brands. On the effect of fame on Bingo Yibadi, she mentioned in an interview, fame has dropped me by privacy. I cannot just post whatever I want on social media without getting judged. On her personality, Oscar, she's a reserved and a cool boss. She's not outgoing and she cherishes her privacy. She's also a loner and does not make friends easily. When she's off work, she stays at home watching movies or reading romance books. So this is a little bit about this with actress Bingo Yibadi. Come to the end of this episode on Bingo Yibadi's fiancé, husband, multi-millionaire home and hidden things you never knew. We hope you enjoyed this episode and let's know two new things, subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily contents.